Hi, welcome to TV's Life. So glad you're here. Hello, welcome to another tea time with TV and Jay. Yes, yes. So for our tea time today, we are going to just highlight and talk about our experience with the sound bath healing. Mm -hmm. So on my last episode, I talked about the sound bath healing, my experience, and you got to see a little bit of what Janae does. Mm -hmm. You know, it's it's a whole vibe and experience. Like it's something <laughs> that you have to at least try once. Mm -hmm. So we give you we gave you like a little demonstration, okay? Just to so you can see what that looks like, okay? But the whole experience is something that you probably never experienced mm -hmm. before. <laughs> and yeah, so when I say for me it <sighs> awoken some things like I talk about my knees like I have you no know, I still arthritis as I explained before and every now and then I would get like a ache like to where like my knees would swell up to where it's so uncomfortable it's hard to walk so seven days ago that was a week of a lot of challenges. It was very challenging for me. Um, and it kind of like elevated and escalated. So by the time I got to the sound bath healing, like I was like literally limping to where I could have used the cane that day. Mm -hmm. Okay. So um, I went through the whole experience. Mm -hmm. When I say the session was about what, 45 minutes or was it? Yeah. Something in there. I sat still, not feeling a thing. I was in total relaxation mode, um, just enjoying the experience. I didn't even feel anything. Like it was like no discomfort or anything. Like I was like, wow. Like I didn't even notice that I was like sitting still for like only 45 minutes mm -hmm. until we came back into like ourselves yeah. and our reality. It might even been about an hour. Close right. To an hour. Yeah, I know. I know it was a while, but normally on a normal basis, I cannot sit still that mm -hmm. long. Like after five or 10 minutes of sitting immobile, I have to move. I have to move my joints. I have to move my knees because if they don't, they will lock up and that really causes a lot of flaring and stuff. So I have to move and be movable and be mobile. Okay. So yeah. Um, but Yes. So, what did that, what did that um, experience do for you? Because I know you knew what state I was in. Yeah. So, kind of explain what you experienced with I was dealing with when I got to that mm -hmm. that session. Like, tell me about about that. Yeah. One. I mean, it was just really excited just having you there for once. I knew it was your first time. Yeah. And you know, I knew it was new for you and everything. So I was just yeah. waiting to hear, you know, what the experience was like at the end of it. Yeah. And I was just so excited and thrilled. Like when you was telling me, like you know, about how much better you felt and stuff and I was just like wow you know because you know like I said it was just really good feedback um but you know I knew I knew that that it would be helpful um because you know like I said it's like the way that the sound just you know moves the energy you know what I'm saying you know it's like when we having that stagnant energy and sometimes even like with pain and everything um that's kind of you know what it be sometimes you know and so it's like when you get that um that cellular massage you know from the vibration it, it starts to move things and kind of open things up and you know put things in their proper you know in their proper state in their proper harmony in their proper vibration mm -hmm. you know so that it can feel better it was another it was there was an elder who was there um i wish i'd have got her on video because she said that she actually had had a fall right on her right. way um, right. coming up the steps because right. he was on the third floor mm -hmm. and but she said that her knees and everything she said she felt so much better after she said what well, whole time she was sitting there she said she didn't feel any pain yeah I, I you know remember, i remember yep, her saying was, that mm -hmm. i was like wow because she had did like the first initial session yes. and it took me a while so i got came in on the second session mm -hmm. because it took a while for me to get myself mobile to even like get out of bed to get to there, get, to get there. Mm -hmm. and then you know it's a little hike from where yeah. I live at but I was like I'm going to get there mm -hmm. I feel like I need this and of course I already knew I was going to be there to support mm -hmm. um so I was like you know whatever's happening I was like it's not going to stop me I'm going to make it work I'm going yeah. to get there so it was just funny like when I came in you're like oh that's why I was like yeah, yeah. I'm like, you see it so I'm like so 
that, that's why I'm like, so just you seeing me in this state, like, what is, like, what was your first thoughts, like? I was just, I was ready. I was ready to give it to you. I was ready. <laughs> and, you know, it's like, you know, like, when I, when I see people and it'd be like, all right, you know, they have something going on, it'd be like, all right, like, come on, like, you know, come on, like, let's get ready to receive. Let's get ready to do this. Because I understand you know, like, uh, you know, this, the power of the vibrations, you know what I mean? And what it's doing. And yeah. So even, um, you know, like, um, Aunt Erica, you know, how she was there and she mm -hmm. was dealing with a lot, but she's like, she just lay back and just let herself just be open to just like receive the healing, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm, and just mm -hmm. and feel better. Mm -hmm, she mm -hmm. feel better too. Yeah. Yeah. Don't, don't vibe. Don't vibrations be hitting a little different. Yeah. And, and it's like, and you like, you take us on such a journey. Yeah. You take us on such a journey. <laughs> like, I'm like, wow. And remember what I was saying to you? I said, I kept seeing the different color. Like you were, like you went through like from the the root to the, I mean from the head down to like the root. But you took us through like a colorful journey mm -hmm. and um, explained to which each one was. Like, can you kind of like talk about that? Absolutely, a little bit? absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. So um, it actually goes in reverse. So from the root, like then from the bottom of the mm -hmm, spine, mm -hmm. and that connection to the earth, mm -hmm. you know. And then you know, and we talk about the color red. Yeah. And then as we moved up. You know, into like, you know, where our womb is and stuff. And, you know, and that, then there, that's the sacral. That's the color orange. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and we even talk about the different things that, um, and feelings and stuff like that. And affirmations that correspond to certain areas. Too. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and then we move, worked our way up to the stomach. Mm -hmm. And that's, you know, dealing with the color yellow. Mm -hmm. And, you know, your will and your drive and, you know, your esteem, your self-esteem and everything. And, mm -hmm. Um, you know, just in that being your power center, mm -hmm. you know, then we moved on up to our heart and talked about, you know, opening, opening our heart to give and receive love and, you know, um, and really having the open heart and, you know, um, letting love, you know, kind of do what it do. You know, sometimes it's like our heart chakra will be so blocked, mm -hmm, you know mm -hmm, what I'm saying? Whether mm -hmm. it's from, you know, like pain or loss or, you know, unforgiveness, mm -hmm. things like that, you know, so we just talked about kind of trying to heal those different wounds mm -hmm. and then the throat chakra and dealing with the color blue mm -hmm. and, um, what's that? And, you know, and just, uh, you know, the ability and power of our voice, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And how important our own voice is. Our voice is like really, it's like, you know, uh, it's such an important sound, you know, for us, you know, and the words that we speak to our own selves, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Just the, that own vibration and um, just how healing that can be. It's like you can really cause harm or healing with your own voice, mm -hmm. you know, so just the importance of that how much our voice matters mm -hmm. you know and then we moved on up to the third eye and you know that just opening yourself to be able to see beyond just what's in front of you mm -hmm. you know what i mean mm -hmm. but you know expanding your foresight expanding your insight your clairvoyant abilities mm -hmm. and stuff you know what i mean your telepathy mm -hmm. and things and mm -hmm. and having clear thought you mm -hmm. know it's like opening your third eye so that you can you know it's like to help remove the fog you know Cause you know, um, and really connecting to your inner wisdom, your inner spirit, you know, and um, hearing that inner voice more clearly, um, and and when using the bowls and stuff, you know, what I mean, to really like uh, center yourself, you do you hear things. It's like it's a lot more clarity. Mm -hmm. Cause you know, we're, we're constantly asking questions and stuff, and you know, and praying and you know, and everything and stuff. But it's like, how can you even hear God speak to you through all the fog and through all the noise? Mm -hmm. and, Mm -hmm. You know, what I mean, how can you even get any answers? Mm -hmm. But when it's like when you're able to, you know, censor yourself and balance yourself, and you know, um, you know, what I mean, it's like you kind of clear that clear that fog, and and you can hear, you know, the you know, what I mean, that inner wisdom, you know, um, just a lot more clearly. And then we move on to the crown chakra, which is you know just that understanding that you know we are a part of the all. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. and that collective, um, you know, union and creativity mm -hmm. and, um, you know, and balance and, you know, being connected to that divine mm -hmm. um, energy. And that corresponds to the color purple, mm -hmm. you know. So purple is a very spiritual color, mm -hmm. you know. And even like, you know, there's crystals that connect with us. So even like, you know, like amethyst. So amethyst is a purple crystal and, you know, corresponding with like, you know, the third eye and the crown chakra and 
So it's like when you're wanting to balance those chakras or be more in that energy, it may be helpful to carry an amethyst. Mm -hmm. And even like, um, say like if I have like a headache or something or or if I feel like I'm, you know, just needing some clarity or something like that, I go and I'll play that bowl. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Or like when my stomach is hurting, I might play like the, the yellow bowl, you know, <clears throat> Just to try to balance that energy mm -hmm. in those certain areas, mm -hmm. you know. And, like, the interesting thing, too, I don't want to talk too much, but I'm, like, you know, it's, like, even, like, with the chakras and the different energy centers, you know, when you think about, like, meridians in your body and, mm -hmm. you know, all the stuff, how everything is so connected, mm -hmm. you know. And we go through it kind of quickly and kind of, you know, fast and but like, you know, when we were like really touching on it, you know what I mean? It's like, you know, each each chakra area touches on different like uh different organs in our body. Mm. And, you know what I'm saying? Mm. You know, it's all like these different other aspects of life. Mm -hmm. So as you're like balancing your chakras and stuff, you know what I mean, and finding that balance in yourself, you start to notice everything else in your life kind of start to start to balance out too. Mm. You know mm. what I mean? It's, it's like it's starting on the inside, but it's like, you know, you start to vibrate, you know, too. And so just like if you like throw a rock into the water and you see those ripples, mm -hmm. you know, kind of mm -hmm. go out, mm -hmm. that same thing happens, you know, to you is like, you know, that healing from the inside out, you know what I mean? So a lot of times we'd be looking for healing outside of ourselves first. It, it all starts within. Yeah. You got to go within yeah. first. Yeah. You know? Wow. Yeah. And I, you know, I was reflecting on that too because, you know, people talk about like your shadow, your shadow side, shadow side. Mm -hmm. When I think of your shadow, sh shadow side or whatever, to me, it's just, it's just the inside. Like on the outside, this is the light. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You know, and the light is reflecting on us. We can see this, but the inside part that we can't see, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? That is, you know, not like your dark side or your shadow side, but you know, it is. It's just uh, it's that 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 inside part of you. Mm -hmm. A lot of times, and that people don't really understand recognize and be afraid of you know right 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 and stuff but it's like you got to do that inner work mm. you know and yeah. let that ooze out your pores right right yeah. right right I, I i i so agree and remember like after the whole experience i was like i was seeing i was seeing the color purple um i was seeing like little pops of red um a little bit of the yellows Mm -hmm. A little of the orange, like, but my dominant color was like the purple. I was like seeing the purple, like, by, radiating yeah. by a lot. It was like, yeah, like, it's, it's definitely, it's rough, definitely different. So, um, mm -hmm. and yeah. see, and I'll be sitting, it, it, like, for me, it's like, go into the light. <laughs> That's how it feels like, go into, like, connect with that. You know what I'm saying? You know, yeah. it's like you're feeling that, you know what I mean? You know, you may even want to, like, wear some purple, but it's, you know, it's telling you, you know, it's like, you know, I mean, just, you know, in my thinking, you know, like, so, like, you're on that path. You're on yeah. that spiritual yeah, path. Yeah, that's, you know that's I mean? wild. So, yeah. it's like, um, so after going through that, like I said, that was like, um, like, seven days ago when I went through that whole experience. Mm -hmm. And um, I came out of that, like, like, feeling, like, 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 different. Like, um, not, like... I went in there like in pain, but I wasn't feeling like the pain so much. It was like I, you know, I still had like the swelling and information or whatever, but it was like like a different like type of feeling, mm -hmm. whatever. But I went and I did the work. Mm -hmm. You know, I was like, cause you gave me like great tips about yeah. the copper mm -hmm. and the exercise. Yeah, I was like, I, I gave you gave me a lot of follow up. Like, hey, now this is the beginning stage. Yes. You went through the, the healing to 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 get on that journey, mm -hmm. whatever to help you feel better. Cause like when I say I was jacked up, I was jacked up. Like so, cause my husband and I we went to go shopping. When I say like like I had we had I had just went through that experience, so I was like, okay, um, I'm okay. I feel like I'm okay to like go shopping or whatever, cause I'm not really feeling the pain, but I was having a lot of like like still inflammation and swelling, you know. So I was like, all right, well I'm not feeling the pain as I was before the um sound bath hit sound bath healing, but so we went and. I got there, I'm walking around, I'm like, I'm okay, it's funny, so my husband's like, you know, you sure you're going to be able to handle this? Mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, I was like, uh, push come to shove, you know how they got those little electric yeah. school <laughs> shopping carts? I was like, I'll, I'll get one of those, I was like, I'm real close to getting one of those, right? Yeah. I was like, but if it, if, it, if it gets too bad, then I'll just go there with one of those, you know, I'll, I'll be riding around with my little hair. In the supermarket, I'll say, I'll listen. I, I've never been somewhere where I felt like I needed one of those, so it was like weird for me to even be thinking that. I'm like, yeah. why am I? Do I even gotta go there? I was like, this is bad. Oh. This is 
Bad, bad. So I lasted probably about 10 or 15 minutes. Come at mind you, during this process, like we're getting my Epsom salt and stuff, we're yeah. getting my copper bank. I was like, baby, we got to get one. Yeah. And we got two sizes. We got the extra large and the large because we wasn't sure which one would actually work. Mm -hmm. Okay? So I'm sit I had to sit my little tail down because I was like, I can't do no more. I can't yeah. do no more. I was like, I'm just ready to go through the rest of the process for my healing to start. Mm -hmm. Okay? So I sat down and I let hubby. You know, do the rest of the shopping, and I yeah. just set my handy down because like my leg couldn't couldn't do no more at this point. So, but yeah, but I'm gonna get into like how that week went after that because when I say the next day, like it was like nothing was wrong with me. Like I went through that whole thing like that week lead up to the healing, um, sound bath healing, and then mm -hmm. after I went through. The healing, I did the soak and the Epsom salt. I put the copper band on. And I'll say the next day, it was like, okay, where is the pain? Where is mm -hmm. the swelling? Why on. can't I move now? Because I couldn't walk. I could really walk <laughs> up the stuff. I'm like, do we got to invest in a stair climber now? <laughs> like, I was thinking all these crazy things. Like, is this what my life has become? Mm -hmm. I was like, okay, like, why can't I move? And I'm not in pain. Like, it was so weird. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, so we're going to um kind of touch on... Like, yeah. what life looked like after that part. So, <laughs> just stay tuned. So, as you can see, I'm still in the gym on the treadmill. Now, mind you, seven days ago, I could barely move or walk. But after the sound bath healing and doing the necessary tools to get myself together, look, I am on the treadmill. I'm gonna try to speed it up a little bit just to see how my knees do. But so far, I have gotten through a lot of hurdles and the challenges that I was having prior to going through the natural healing energy was uh, kind of non-existent at this point. But we want to keep going along and see how I do. Yeah. So I have just finished doing the treadmill and I still feel good. So I'm like, I'm going to test the limits and get on elliptical because this is what I'm used to doing. And look guys, I'm able to be my knees no pain at all. When I say that feels amazing, it feels so good to be able to do this again. Yeah, so. Yeah. I'm excited, I'm excited. Yeah. So, yeah, that was um my experience seven days after going through the energy healing and using the necessary tools to help myself feel better. Mm -hmm. Like, I haven't felt that good in my legs in a long time in a long time and like and i can even say like i was on like a real like path to like keeping myself from getting to that point to where it was like swelling and it made me reflect a lot like so okay what have i been doing different mm -hmm. why am I in this state? Because mm -hmm. it wasn't a good state. It didn't feel good for me. Right. It had me sitting back reevaluating my things, some things in my life, mm -hmm. myself. Like, okay, it's time to go back to what you've been doing. Go back to, um, on a more healthier path. Mm -hmm. Go back to, um, exercising a lot more. Because although I, I, I exercise, I feel like I'm not doing it like over like over abundantly like I should mm -hmm. like and I was on a path before where I was like obsessing with the gym mm -hmm. like obsessing mm -hmm. like I remember, remember right? yeah. I was in the gym like all the all the time yeah. like to the point where it looked in the show like I was like back to like my teenage body self mm -hmm. I was like ooh, all right so and I think a lot of it was like I, I I'm trying to stay away from like looking not looking like me anymore mm -hmm. but like it's like something like has to give mm -hmm. in that aspect is like okay i know i'm of mature age and i have to like have a happy median and mm -hmm. have like some sort of balance like so not like obsessing but feeling like healthier mm -hmm. and giving my legs and joints the nourishment they need you like giving them that extra care absolutely you know because you got to pay attention to your right body. so how did that feel like just us going through that experience with me in the gym and like seven seven days after going through oh, that it was, yeah i was like you go girl i was <laughs> like you know what i mean you know i like say you know just seeing you doing that and and feeling so good you know what I'm saying? It just made me feel happy for you. Yeah. Extremely yeah. happy for you. Yeah. You know what I mean? And yeah, and it's like, you know, and just and feeling like that, you know, 
that we can continue to do that and even step it up and do some more things. Yes, you know what I'm yes, saying? Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. that yeah, that 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 made me feel good and I'm glad that you were a part of that that after yes. process. You know what I mean? Yeah. That you got to see it for yourself. And mm -hmm. then just even to have sit down and have a conversation about, you know, what it looked like. Like right. the before and after. Yeah. And stuff like that. Like I totally appreciate mm -hmm. you just, you know, like pushing it to like help and mm -hmm. like do that healing process along, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? I saw you. Like, I saw you when you was like kind of moving like you you know, like you wasn't moving too good. And you know, and it's like, you know, that doesn't make me feel happy. It yeah. makes me feel like it's like, dang, like what can I do to help? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know yeah. what I mean? Or, you know, but then to see you like, you know, on the, you know, getting down on the treadmill <laughs> and all that little stuff today and it's like, okay, them knees is working. You know what I'm saying? They yes. doing that they they supposed to do. Yes, yeah. yes, 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 yes. <laughs> but yeah. That's why I, I like I would tell y'all like this like I might mean, like she's more than just a sister, like, you know. This has been like my 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 baby, my heart, like yes. my yes, best. Sure, no, one of my favorite people on the planet. One of my favorite people on the planet. Yes, you know? like, yes, yes. It, it's like if I ain't got nobody else in my corner where they got my back, I always know she does. Yes, we got each other. We got each other. Yes. Exactly, exactly. So you know that 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 gives me peace of light just yes. to know that I have. My lovely sister Aww. in my corner. <laughs> yeah. But that was our tea time today. Yeah. So I hope that you got something from this. And I hope that you have a little more, bit more clarity on what the sound bath feeling yes. looks like. And hopefully you'll get a chance to experience it too. Hopefully. Yes. yes. But until then.